Fact to follow-up segment tonight, the culture war over gay marriage continues across the country. In Minnesota, little kids were involved uh, in the protests at the behest of their parents, we assume. San Francisco, the usual protest took place with an eye on getting attention. There are the nuns who invaded that. They may not be the same ones, but the church thing that we told you about. And in Michigan, things did get a little out of hand. Approximately 25 protesters interrupted a service at the Mount Hope Church in Delta Township. Amen. The new Melodares. Just a word that is uh, not a uh, skit that we're putting on. Police investigated. No arrests have been made. Joining us now from Lansing, Michigan, Guy Richardson, a member of the church who was at the service. And from Phoenix, Arizona, Austin Nimick, senior legal counsel at the Alliance Defense Fund. Mr. Richardson, begin with you. Uh, did you know immediately what was happening there? No, no, actually, uh, Mr. O'Reilly, it was quite a shock. Uh, uh, we sometimes have drama displays, you know, as part of our service, and uh, this took me a little bit, you know, uh, by surprise, as many of us. And uh, uh, after our pastor uh, uh, told us that this was not a, uh, a drama thing, you know, that we were doing, you know, I started looking around, and I actually wondered where the ushers were, because there was you know, maybe a couple of dozen people huddled in the center of our sanctuary, uh, just, you know, shouting, it's okay to be gay, and, and just, just littering and throwing thousands of leaflets, you know, at the yeah, members. Yeah, we see that on the tape, but it looks like most of the parishioners are kind of stunned. They're, they're sitting yes. there, they don't really understand what's going on. We saw an usher there picking stuff up. But I, I think, yes. as you said, if you do use some theater in the present day, is this an evangelical church? Yes, yeah, we are evangelical, very uh, open door church, very much outreach oriented, and uh, and so you know we. My big surprise was uh, where, where are the ushers at this time? Yeah, because, well, yeah, well you saw were... one. The guy was standing there. He didn't really know what to do. Now, yeah. um, uh, thinking back on it, are you angry it happened? Uh, do you want the church to take some action? How do you feel about it? Well, no, I'm, I'm not personally angry. I think the church's response is, is very measured. Um, you know, we are an outreach church. We, we believe in the gospel and, and that it's the answer for everyone. So um, I, I do believe there were laws broken. Uh, and to that extent, I would actually be very pleased uh, if the church did seek legal action or turn this over to the authorities. All right, but they have not, uh, Mr. Nimix. Yes, uh, the church hasn't filed, and we called a prosecutor and the attorney general of Michigan and said, you know, what are you guys going to do? And they go, we're not going to do anything unless the church files a complaint. Now, in San Francisco, as we reported months ago, they had the same kind of an invasion by transvestite dresses nuns, and the diocese in uh, San Francisco didn't file charges. So what's your involvement here, Mr. Nimix? Well, it's quite clear, Bill, that the pretense of tolerance is over. I mean, the advocates in this country for redefining marriage for years have built their campaign on a pretense of tolerance. And what you have here is tolerance, or no tolerance, I should say, for anybody who dares to disagree with their viewpoint. Uh, the opposite of tolerance, Bill, is tyranny. And when, when you go tyranny, you have violation of fundamental civil rights, like the right to free speech, the right to freedom of religion, which Mount Hope Church was trying to practice, and the right to even participate in free and democratic elections like they did in California. So you, you have some fundamental prior problems and priorities that are in play here. All right, but the ADF is known as challenging the ACLU and basically giving the, the other side, traditional America, some legal representation. But if the church does not file a charge of invading, uh, you know, trespassing or disturbing the peace or whatever it may be, I mean, there are charges, as Mr. Richardson pointed out. If the church didn't do anything, you can't. Well, in this particular case, that may be true. And, and the Alliance Defense Fund prides itself on standing up for the civil liberties and freedom of religion of churches like Mount Hope Church. And we certainly support any effort of the Mount Hope Church to take legal action or the efforts of the Attorney General Mike Cox in Michigan to take action against a group like this whose sole purpose is to break laws. And, and Mr. Richardson's correct, multiple laws were broken there. Uh, again, showing that the pretense of tolerance for other viewpoints is really over for these advocates. Yeah, I don't think it does them any good. I, I agree that there's a backlash now and uh, those who are sympathetic to gay marriage and gay civil rights, uh, they see conduct like this and you know, a lot of people going, hey, enough's enough. Gentlemen, thanks very much. We appreciate it. We come right back. 
The culture warriors Hoover and Crowley will react to the accelerating culture war throughout the country. And then... The number one cable news show for eight years and counting, The O'Reilly Factor. Thanks for staying with us in Bill O'Reilly and the Culture Warrior segment tonight. Did not take the Atlanta Journal-Constitution long to make a long list and check it twice, demanding a series of far-left things from Barack Obama. Newspaper circulation down 14% year-to-year. It wants free child health care, taxpayer money for abortion rights abroad, embryonic stem cell research, limited drilling for oil, and on and on and on. All of this in one editorial. Now, the editorial page... Editor Cynthia Tucker is perhaps the most radical left person working in a newspaper in the country. And she has embraced the phrase Christianists, you may remember that, when complaining about religious people voting a certain way. But as we've seen with the gay marriage protests, the secular progressive movement is on display all over the country, not just Atlanta. And here to analyze our culture warriors, Fox News analyst Monica Crowley and Margaret Hoover. How about that church in Michigan? What if you were sitting there, Hoover, in church, and I assume once in a while you wander in, if you were sitting there in the church and these people started doing this in the middle of a service, what would you do? Tell me honestly, what would you do? You know, I'd probably help facilitate, get them out of there. Would Whether you grab it's them me physically? Help. If I was right there, I probably would. Because really? I, you know what, that's really so disrespectful and, and, and not the time and place and also not the way to make a statement. So you, Margaret Hoover, all what, five foot three of Look, you? it is wait, wait, wait. five, six, five, five six, six, all right. would, would, and a half. Would arise from the pew I, or else and lay hands upon these demonstrators? Either that or facilitate an usher getting them out of there. Because what they did, Bill, is disrespectful. I think anybody, even in the gay rights movement, the, the reasonable people in the movement who are not all oh, these Oh, they're wax, appalled by this. Yes, Absolutely this is not representative of, of the movement and what they I have for. gotten a lot of calls and mail from gay people who say, this is hurting us yes. dramatically. It's unacceptable. You know there's a great historical parallel here. Ed Brooke, first African-American senator from Massachusetts in the 70s, first African-American senator since uh, Reconstruction, said of the civil rights movement, the radicals on the left are hurting our cause. Okay. He understood better than anyone. You're in the pew. Crowley, mm -hmm. what do you do? I'm not going to try to apprehend these freaks because you have no idea what, what they're, if they're armed, if they're going to act out violently. This is completely unacceptable. Right, so you stay quiet in the because, pew? Because, listen, this is an example of, of course, I would stay quiet in the pew. Most churches don't have security. They've got ushers. They yeah, don't ushers. have security. Right. Maybe they should, because what we're seeing right now is an escalation of this, oh, no doubt. this, this tug of war between traditionalists. This, this, is in, this is in Delta Township, Michigan. Right. This isn't it's in some in big city. It's not in San Francisco. Right. right. This is in a rural area in Michigan. That's right. That's so you, right. you would this, sit there and just be outraged, simmer quietly. Well, because I wouldn't want to draw attention to myself, because, again, you don't know if these people are, are willing to act out violently. Okay. If they're willing to invade a sacred space like a church, they might be willing right. to carry it a step right. further. Now, now, I'm not even going to tell you what I I would do because it's not Christian or it's not from our Judeo-Christian heritage and, and that is my that is my failing I'm not real tolerant about these things right. now do you Crowley believe that since Obama was elected mm -hmm. this is all coincidental or do you believe as I do that the the far left has been emboldened and they're demanding now what they want and you better give it to them. Absolutely, because look, the far left in this country has had the lid on it for eight years because of President Bush and the Republicans for at least part of that time in control of the Congress. So they have eight years of pent up frustrations, anger, rage, and the acting out that you're seeing on the gay rights movement, the acting out you're seeing in a lot of these editorials. Remember that the far left brung Obama to the dance. He owes them. Yeah, so but the I don't think it's Obama. Yeah, I gotta disagree with you guys here. Go ahead, I, go ahead. I, I really disagree with you guys here. Look, the civil rights stuff, the gay rights stuff that you're seeing has been going on for a very long time. This was one chapter in its long legacy. It's not gonna end now. It didn't start yesterday. This is gonna keep going, and this is just this is in reaction to the major setback that they experienced in California. All right, so you don't have, you don't think this it has anything to do with Barack Florida, Obama's Arizona. election? No, I do not okay, at all. Okay, then how do you explain? The Atlanta Journal-Constitution with their loopy editorial today, the San Francisco Chronicle, and, and I'm going to mention this in a, in a little while, demanding a criminal investigation into Guantanamo. I mean, mm -hmm. the far left surging in, in a lot of areas. Now, it isn't Barack Obama's fault. I want to make Let's that quite clear. But you don't, you're telling me Let's you be, don't think okay, they're emboldened? First of all, that is one of the most liberal editorial boards in the country. So, of course...